Guess who's back? Welcome to Calvin's. If you like it, you pay. If you don't like it, Chaz pay anyway. In every neighborhood, there's a place folks get together to talk about their dreams, to share their frustrations, and maybe even tell a joke or two. Excuse me, but I don't like to get involved in petty arguments. Yeah, you do. That's primarily what you yeah, do. Yeah, that's pretty much all you do. <laughs> a lot of um, uh, sports, like debates and conversations happen in barbershops or at work or via group text. When was the last time that you had either a lengthy one or a heated kind of argument? A few days ago, we were just talking about uh, the Lakers situation. Rookie D'Angelo Russell has become persona non grata in his own locker room after secretly videotaping a conversation with his teammate, Nick Young. It wasn't my intentions. We, we joked around. We played around all the time. We said crazy things, and and this just got in the wrong hands. A lot of people put it on D'Angelo. You know, he was wrong, but I put a little bit on Nick. You know, when you play with a puppy, he'll lick you in the mouth and bite you on the lip. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a prank. It wasn't something for everybody else to see. It was from my eyes, his eyes only, and that was it. I'm not into pranks. You know, I'm into joking, laughing, funny. Don't, like, physically do nothing to me. I'm not, I'm not into that. <laughs> Why? What would happen? I'd get mad. Like, I know I've had talks about whether Steph Curry is going to be like in the top five players of all time eventually. I've never seen anything like him. And, that, and to me, when you're able to revolutionize the game like that, that's saying something too. Is Steph Curry currently a better basketball player than LeBron James? Uh, no. LeBron can do more things than Steph on the basketball court. You gotta say he's a better basketball player. Cause I always feel like they do that, this thing when somebody's great, then they're like, well, who's better? But they're like both like, it's like Rihanna and Beyonce. They're right. both great. Great and Way different. In their own right. Yeah. There's true. a team though. You're either team Riri or you're part of the Beehive. Like there's- I'm team Riri. Like I'm both. <laughs> <laughs> I love them both. <laughs> the 2016 Warriors versus the 96 Bulls. Uh, Scottie Pippen recently said, that if those, in that hypothetical, Michael would guard Clay, Scotty would guard Steph, and Scotty would hold him to 20 points a game. I'd probably put Michael on Clay. I think that my size and length could, could bother him a little, little bit. Would you keep him under 20? I think I could. If, if we were to put that Chicago Bulls team against this Golden State team, I'm putting my money on the Bulls. Nothing against Golden State, and I love them. I love Steph, I love Draymond, and all, all those yeah. guys. It wouldn't go seven games. What do you mean? It would not go seven games. Well, how many games <laughs> would it go? I, 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 I say it would go five. What? The Bulls would be the, are you kidding? No, but see, you know, see, here's this. This is, yeah, like I feel like we should have it. Like a... If the Bulls could run the triangle, and if the, the Warriors had to guard them man to man, like back in 96. <laughs> 96 rules, not 2016 rules? The Bulls will win. Listen, but you can't, now you can't touch dudes. You can't, like, a hand, you can't hand check at all. So for you, it depends on which era, which rules. Which, are, which era and which rules. At what point, with LeBron's uh, hairline, at what point should he just go full common slash Michael Jordan? Yo, let me or, tell you, I, I got compassion for LeBron because okay. I started losing my hair. Like, <laughs> like 20, 25, so I'm like. You have to be ready. <laughs> Wait, like emotionally? Yes, because yeah. listen, and I'm only saying that like like women who do the big chop. <laughs> Any woman that's done the big chop understand there's an emotional yeah, readiness. He's not ready. He's not ready, and you gotta let the man just have his time. We actually had a, a joke in the movie that we took out. It wasn't because of, you know, we were thinking about offending him or anything, but where, you know, Eddie was saying, I, you know, LeBron started the trend like Michael Jordan, but then he went back and they filled it in like side. <laughs> I think LeBron should just cut it off. We're just gonna have to make some wider headbands. <laughs> We're gonna be like this. <laughs> but we love LeBron too. Of course, of course. <laughs>